According to the World Health Organization, around 55 million people have dementia. There is no cure, but new science is showing what lifestyle choices we can make to prevent and treat the condition. Joining us to give us a deeper understanding is neurosurgeon and scientist Dr. Raul Jondial. Doctor, always good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. So let's start with the new Alzheimer's drug, Adjulim, Adjulhelm? Um, yeah, Adjulhelm. Okay. And the first Alzheimer's medication to be approved in nearly 20 years, and it's aimed at helping people with mild dementia despite it being approved by the FDA Medicare, limiting coverage to people in control groups. So tell us uh, about these advancements. So this story tells us about the challenges of treating Alzheimer's and dementia. Once you get it, we don't have a good medicine for it. This was the first one in 20 years. Many felt like it was pushed through the FDA. And by the time it gets to Medicare, they're saying, we're not going to fund this. It's going to bankrupt the system. And the data didn't really show it to be very effective. So this highlights, I think, for people that going forward, waiting to get dementia or Alzheimer's and thinking that hospitals are going to have a magic pill or drug, that's not the way forward. The way forward is to lower the chances of getting dementia, just like with heart health, brain health is something that now we can take specific steps to actually lower our chances of getting Alzheimer's. That remains the best way forward. And we've, we've heard that music engages the brain. Is that part of this study? Did, did, what does the science reveal about that? So fantastic new studies pointing out two things. Yes, we know music pulls from a lot of different things, hearing, touch, you know, it integrates different parts of the brain. You have more connections. And they looked at people in their 60s who for 30 minutes a day tried to learn a new musical instrument. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to get good at it, but they did have to try. And what surprised all of us, it was people in their 60s. So holding dementia at bay isn't, hey, I didn't do these things in my 30s and 40s. It's hopeless. Actually, in your 60s, if you mess around and try to learn a musical instrument, make that part of your life, mm -hmm. That will help you remember other things better. That will help hold off dementia. That's incredible. Also, this part of a new study, uh, really interesting. It suggests where we grow up can have a lasting effect on our brain development. Yeah, this is fascinating. So they looked at, they actually, they got YouTubers involved. Four million people signed up. It was a video game about navigation. They had people put in their data from where they grew up in the cities from around the world. And they found people that grew up in cities that were a little bit, you know, curvy, like London, or grew up in a ranch, or didn't have all the help of a grid, like New York has got a grid pattern that's easier to navigate. Mm -hmm. Those people that did not grow up on tight grids, they tended to have better navigation and lower rates of dementia. Mm. That doesn't prove it, but what we do know, navigation happens in the temporal lobe, and that's kind of where that part of the brain withers with dementia. So I think these are interesting things that if you try to, you know, remember where you're at and maybe turn off your phone app for navigation sometimes and you learn to make music, play music in your 60s, this can be a big help. We've talked in the past on this program about how a plant-based diet uh, is helpful in, in staving off uh, dementia and, and Alzheimer's. And now we're learning about good fats and bad fats as well. Talk to us about that. Yeah, that's fantastic. And I, you know, so brain food does exist. I did see what you guys were eating a little bit ago. I'm not <laughs> sure that was just gets a pass for a little bit. So brain food, just like there's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol, plants have omega-3s, fatty fish have omega-3s. That fat is used to actually insulate the neurons that send the electrical discharges throughout our brain. That's a great little picture there. It's a myelin sheath. And that is actually made of omega-3s that come from fatty fish. And if you're vegan, they come from uh, spinach, they come from walnuts, they come from chia seeds. So these are the ways forward. Music, maps, and the right kind of meals, I think that's much better than any pills that we can make. Mm -hmm. And doctor, just, you know, w at what age do you really start thinking about prevention when it comes to- Well, with my kids, that? you know, it was right away, as we know it, um, a mind diet is something that you can implement. It's plants, fish, a little bit of red wine, start that when they're 18, mm. make this the habit, just like we mm -hmm. talked about heart health. So start as fast as you can, as early as you can. But what the first study showed was, even if you're in your 60s, right. it's still a good time to start. Mm. 
Yeah, they also talk about Everything social works. interaction, Absolutely. dance. I mean, there are all sorts of things that, that we can do now, and uh, this is really good information. So They're not difficult. Yeah. yeah. Well, dancing is a little difficult for some of us. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. Good Thanks, to see doc. you. For more information Bye. on uh, today's topic and other health stories, you can always join the conversation with Dr. John Dial and the City of Hope on social media.